symbolic. They believe women do not have to have their head covered. Even though the Bible said if a woman pray or prophesy having her head uncovered, dishonor her head, that's plain. They believe you can divorce and remarry. In other words, you can have more than one wife. They believe women can preach. P.A.W. is the twin sister to the UPC. They got the same beliefs. In your organization, Larry, the Holy Temple, you have a lot of unscriptural beliefs. I want to say, well, we believe what Bishop Johnson preached. I believe what Jesus preached. I agree that Bishop Johnson was truly God called. God sent. God anointed. Because one thing I know about a real man of God, he have a heaven sent anointing. A false prophet don't have no anointing. A false prophet don't have no anointing, I said. But because a man of God have an anointing, that doesn't mean that man cannot get wrong. I was saying, where is that at? <laughs> Glory to God. There was a God sent prophet by the name of David and Samuel anointed him to be king over the God over Israel. David was so anointed and so uh, God had so much respect and love for David until David was called a man. David God called David a man after my own heart. That's something for God to say about you. David was handpicked by God himself. And the Lord said, to the degree that God chose to come in the flesh from David's house. Mm-hmm. He came from the house of David, and then he was called the son of David. My Lord. That's right. But out of all that anointing, out of all that prophecy, even though he was appointed by heaven, David still got wrong. You don't take from him that he was sent. But he did get wrong. That's right. And getting wrong, God reprimanded him. God chastised him. Now, let me itemize the wrong that is circulating in the apostolic faith churches. I can tell you this, brothers and sisters, because that's where I came from. So I can look back where I came from and I can testify of the wrong that I used to be involved in until the Lord opened up my understanding. All right, Larry, let me see, can I help you? Second chapter of the book of Galatians. Galatians yes. The teachings of the apostolic, many of you, is you must repent of your sins and be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's true. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's true. But then you added something. That in order to get in the church, you must receive the right hands of fellowship to get in the church. Now, and you say everybody got to receive the right hands of fellowship 
to being God's church. Listen to the old troublemaker now. That's a lie. That's because right. the right hand of fellowship have never put nobody in the church. That's right. The Bible never said the reins of fellowship put you in the body. For by one spirit. Listen at this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13. I want to, you know, the old country man to sit on the porch with a stick. Yeah. And he'll whittle it down. That's right. The word of God, that's what I want to do with the so-called apostolic faith. I want to whittle it down. That's yeah. right. Show you what's wrong. That's right. Because when you say, well, we got the faith of the apostles. Well, to have the faith of the apostles, you got to teach it the way they taught the belief of Jesus. That's right. Ask yourself, did the apostles at any time teach the church that everybody must have the right hands of fellowship in order to be a part of the body of Christ? Amen. You say, well, Bishop Johnson taught it. I know. But I'm going back further than Johnson. I'm going all the way back to Jesus. That's right. Peter and James and Paul. I have to go back to them. Why? The scriptures is the blueprints for the church. That's right. I respect Bishop Johnson. Somebody say you hate him. No, listen. Bishop Johnson got more anointing dead than you fellas have living. That's true. Don't say, well, how can you say that in the dead know of nothing? You can turn on a tape. He's been dead this year, 60 years. You can turn on a tape and feel the power of God blasting from that tape. From a man that's been dead 60 years. And here you fellas are living with no anointing. And you alive. That's right. You are alive. That's right. With no anointing. And you can get a tape from the 40s and 50s because he died 61. And you can hear the power of God blasting from it. That's right. That's how I know someone who's God called God sent. There's an anointing there. Right. I don't mean someone who screams when someone preaches. No, 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 no. I mean uh, an anointing that comes from heaven because the anointing is a gift. That's right. The Bible said every good gift, every perfect gift come from above. Come down from the Father of lights of whom there is no variables. But out of all that, Brother Johnson erred. Right. He preached the right hand of fellowship wrong and he administered it wrong. Amen. And Holy Temple, you're doing the same thing. Now let me break down First, let's see what put you in the church in the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Then I want the second chapter of the book of Galatians. All right, get this now. I want this soak in. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13. Amen. For by one spirit, by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. It takes the spirit of Christ to put you in the body, That's right. to put you in the church. That's right. uh -huh. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, yes. whether we be bond or free, and, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Now, it takes one spirit to put you in the church. That's right. Now, let me show you the error, the blunder, that the many apostolics are still doing to this day, and the error that I used to practice. Yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a humble brother. I don't mind admit when I was ignorant. For right. I have to say, like Brother Titus, we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. That's right. All right, the second chapter of Galatia, and this is what I want to encourage you to do, right? Up. Go back and question your bishop, not only you, all of you apostolics that see these bishops and so-called apostles shaking people's hands and saying, you know, it's putting them in the church, ask them. They gave you a Bible for the way 
they are doing it. Now I'm going to demonstrate this also. Amen. Huh? Amen. Thank God for television. <laughs> That's because right. we're going to tell the vision. That's right. All right, William, let's go to work. Galatians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1. Amen. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. Now the apostolics have taught for years. That it was revealed to Paul to go up and get the rand of fellowship. Right. That was not the revelation. No. The Bible didn't even say that was the revelation. No. But the apostolics have taught for years that it was revealed to Paul to go up and get his hand shook. And if they say if you don't have the rand of fellowship, you're not in the church. Well, how in the world can Paul be an apostle of Jesus Christ and not be in the church? That's right. He was already in the church. That's right. What you're talking? He was on his way to that, on the road to Damascus. A light shone from heaven. Blessed be God. Above the brightness of the sun. And uh, knocked Brother Paul to the earth. A voice spake from heaven. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Go to the street that is called straight, and it shall be told you what thou oughtest to do. There was a certain disciple yeah. by the name of Ananias. They didn't say he was a preacher. No. They didn't say he was a bishop. There was a certain disciple at Damascus. <laughs> Listen at this. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 10. Uh -huh. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus. A certain disciple. At the mass, mass he had a knife. Name Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, The Lord Ananias. spoke to him in a vision and said, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. Yeah. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called Street. Uh -huh. And inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. Yes. For behold, he prayed. He's praying. And that seen in a He's vision. He's praying now. That's right. I'm getting him straight now. He yeah. prays. Somebody said, Well, wait a minute. God used just a brother to baptize an apostle? Just no. He was a certain disciple, a certain disciple that baptized an apostle? No. No. Someone said, but he baptized Paul. That's right. But he didn't baptize an apostle. <laughs> That's right. Paul was no apostle when he was baptized. Yeah. That's right. Someone said, when well, God spoke to him, he was called. Yes. That's right. That's when he was called. That's right. But he wasn't made yet. Go ahead, no. You can't go out here and exercise the apostleship after the resurrection of Christ with no baptism and the Holy Ghost. That's right. He was stopped right. and called. Right. Saul! Saul! Why persecute you about me? Glory to God. He was called, but he was not yet sent. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, Lord, which is called straight, and, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. Yes. For behold, he prayed, he prayed, and had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in, yes. and putting his hand on him that he might receive his All name. right. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this. I heard a whole lot about this fellow. How much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. <laughs> he, listen, even though God told Ananias to go, Ananias is like, wait a minute. That's right. Wait a minute, Lord. Right. This fella got a reputation now. That's right. I don't want to get my hands cut off. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. You go. For he is a chosen vessel unto me. He was chosen. He was called. That's right. But he wasn't sent yet. That's right. Why? He was still in sin. That's right. Sins wasn't washed away yet. No. Glory to God. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. You go thy way. It is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles uh -huh. and kings and the children of Israel. Yes. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Uh -huh. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house. Yes. Putting his hands on him, said, Brother Saul. Brother Saul. The Lord, even the Jesus. Lord. Wait a minute. The Lord, the Lord, who did he say the Lord was? Even Jesus. Even Jesus. That appeared unto thee in the Lord way as thou camest. God that appeared unto thee. In the way as thou camest hath sent me. Yeah. Thou mightest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He wasn't even in the body yet. That's right. Paul wasn't even in the church yet. That's right. He was being told and given information from God through this certain desire. That's right. Uh, and immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scaled. Yeah. And he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. Amen. Yeah. And then what? And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. 
Then Saul was certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus. Yes. And straightway he preached Christ in the synagogues. You see that? That's right. Yeah. He didn't go to after. Because the Lord told Ananias what to tell Paul in right. reference to his sight and Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scared. You know what did he tell? What did, what did Ananias tell him? And Ananias went his way and entered into the house. Yeah. Putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, Brother Saul, the Lord even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way. Said what? As thou camest, has sent me, uh -huh. that thou mightest receive thy Wait son. a minute. He sent me. Has sent me. That Wait a minute. He sent me. That's right. So you can get your sight back. That's right. And, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hold it. Through the laying on hands of Ananias, right. not only did he receive the sight, but he received the Holy Ghost. That's right. Tell a lot of folks saying, well, you don't read where Paul received the Holy Ghost. It's plain there. Brother Saul, the Lord. And not only that, Ananias is telling this man what purpose did God send him for. That's right. What is it? Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way, as thou uh, camest, yeah. has sent me. He sent me. That thou mightest receive that thy sight. you may get your sight and be filled and with the Holy Ghost. And be filled with the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scaled. And what? And he received sight forthwith. And, and arose and was baptized. Do you hear that? Yeah. Now here you had that same apostle laboring. Second chapter of the book of Galatians now. Back in Galatians 2 and at verse 1. Listen. Then 14 years after I went up against After the fruit. 14 years of preaching That's right. and laboring for God, That's right. now God stops him. God interrupts his work. Okay. Interrupt the work of Brother Paul. Amen. And now lay down rules and regulations for fellowship. Yeah. That's right. Hmm? That's right. He laid down rules and regulations for fellowship among the apostles. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right, get this now. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. As I said before, so say I now again. Pay attention who went up with Paul. Barnabas. Barnabas, who was a Greek, who was a bishop, which is an elder. Barnabas, or rather Barnabas, Barnabas was an apostle, and took Titus with me also. And Titus was the Greek who was the bishop and the elder. That's right. Barnabas was an apostle. That's right. But Titus was the Greek who is a bishop and an elder. Mm -hmm. All right. And I went up by revelation. Oh, I didn't go up on my own. No. It was revealed to me to go up. I took Apostle Barnabas. Right. And I took Titus. Bishop Titus. That's right. So you had two apostles. One bishop. That's right. Listen now. And I went up by revelation. It was revealed to me to go up. And communicated unto them that no, gospel. No, it was revealed to me to go up and get my hands shut. And communicated unto them that gospel. With now, wait hand. a minute. It was revealed to Paul to communicate to the other apostles. That gospel which I preached and among the Gentiles. And this is what he talked about, the gospel which I preached that he the was Gentiles. preaching to other ethnic groups. That's right. But when it came time to talk to them, how would, it, how would it be done? But privately to them which were of reputation. Now the ones that was in reputation was Peter, James, and John. That's right. And Paul was not impressed with them. He said they seemed to be built. So, right. Meaning that they seemed to be steadfast. Yeah. And, and I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, but, but privately to them which were of reputation. Uh -huh. If by any means I should run or had run in vain. And that means that if he didn't obey the revelation, the running that he had done would have been worthless or in vain. The running that he was doing would have been in vain. Right. The running he was going to do would have been in vain if he would not obey the revelation which was to communicate okay. about the gospel that he was preaching because he been an apostle who came after the 12 that walk with Jesus Jesus would not have other apostles out speaking something different from the ones that walk with him in the flesh that's right that's so communication was a necessity that's right 
It doesn't matter if he, Paul didn't walk with him in the flesh. The Spirit wasn't going to reveal to Paul something opposite from what their other apostles got when Jesus was here in the flesh. That's right. Same Spirit that worked through the flesh of the Son of Man that taught the Twelve was the same Spirit that worked and taught Brother Paul. That's right. And he taught it not to all the confusion. Right. Uh -huh. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel, uh -huh. which I preach among the Gentiles. How do I? But privately to them which were of reputation. If I don't do it, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. Pretty quick. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was. Now let us remember. Neither Titus that was with you being a Greek was compelled to be circumcised. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in. Yeah. Payment privately despite our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus. Now here you have Brother Paul, Barnabas, and Elder Titus, the Greek, the Greek. sitting among the apostles. Not all of them. That's right. Not all of them. That's right. Not all of them. But of these who sing just yes, Peter, James, and John, listen to this now. But of these two, get chapter and verse. Galatians chapter two and at verse six. Follow me. But of these who seem to be somewhat at verse five. five. At verse five. All right. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour. Yeah. That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Uh -huh. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, what? it maketh no matter to me. God accepteth no man's person. Uh -huh. For they who seem to be somewhat in comfort. Did you see that? Brother Paul was not impressed. Look at how he's talking. For they who seem to be somewhat in they who seem to be somewhat in comfort. They didn't add nothing. Make it no matter to they me. They didn't add nothing to me. Now hear this, hear this, hear this. Amen. If you are an apostle, you shouldn't be learning from an elder. No. <laughs> no. No way. Peter James, listen, Titus was an elder. That's right. Titus was not investigating what Peter James and John was preaching. No. That was not his authority. No. That was not his place. That's right. That's right. And we got to keep it on scriptural order. Yes. The bishop don't investigate what is being preached by the apostle. No way. Because the bishop is taught by the apostle. That's right. Let's do it according to the apostles' doctrine. That's this right. is rule for the church. That's right. Listen. But of these who seem to be somewhat whatsoever they Whoever were. they were, make it no matter to me. God accepteth no man's person. Uh -huh. They who seem to be somewhat in In compass added nothing to me. But contrary was, when they saw. When, listen at this. When they saw. That the that gospel the of gospel the uncircumcision. Unto the uncircumcision. Was committed unto me. Was given to me. As the gospel of the same circumcision was thing unto Peter. Peter had. For he that brought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the He that worked in Peter. Me in the same spirit. That worked in Peter towards the apostleship of the circumcision of the Jew. The same that same spirit was mighty in me for the Gentile. In me for the Gentile. Was every other ethnic group. And when James Listen at this, Larry. And when James and all you other apostolics. Listen good. Galatians two and verse nine. When James Apostle Cephas. Cephas, which is Peter, apostle. And John. John, apostle. Who seemed to be pillars. Who seemed to be steadfast. Who seemed to be grace that was given to Paul. They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. Now, the apostolic said, it's for everybody. Yeah. Let's go back and see who went up with Paul. Back in Galatians 2 and verse 1. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. He took who? Titus with me also. But when it came time to receive the right hand of fellowship, who received it? And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. Now the apostolic says for everybody, what happened to Barnabas? What happened to uh, Titus? Titus. Titus was there. That's right. And so Titus with me also. You have five apostles there and one elder. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, James, John, Paul, Barnabas, Barnabas. Titus. That's right. That's right. Peter, James, John, Paul, Barnabas, Titus. 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 So the apostolic says for everybody, what happened to Titus? That's right. That's right. All right. Now let us look how the apostolics give the right hand of fellowship. 
In most cases, the apostolic bishops, after they done preaching water and spirit, they say if there's anybody here want to be fellowship into the church. In other words, what they're asking you is, is there anybody here who wants to join our organization? This is exactly how the right hands of fellowship been hijacked. Amen. It's been hijacked and been used as a initiation method into an organization. And I blast it down. That's right. That's right. It's not made to join churches. No. It's not made to be a part of organizations. That's right. This is the way your bishop do it. After they said, anybody here want to receive the right hands of fellowship, stand on your feet. So, g give me these three brothers here. Y'all stand. And this is what y'all bishop do. Y'all three brothers come up here. And give me three sisters stand. Give me uh, three sisters. Any three sisters over there stand. Just stand too. Come on, any three of you now. Three of y'all sisters, come on up. Come on up, stand here. Yeah. You know, because they, they fellowship men and women. What, 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 what's your name, son? Yes, what's your name, son? You, you, son. You come on up here too. Yeah, you come on up here. Come on up. Bring your little brother with you. Your little brother, don't, he said he don't want to come. Don't worry. <laughs> come on up, son. This is what y'all apostolics do. Did y'all get the children in there? Because y'all say put you in the church. And this is what y'all bishop do. Bishop asks you, why you want to be about fellowship into the church? And most times the individual said, uh, because I believe you got the truth and I want to be saved. Hallelujah. And I, and I want to make the resurrection. So bishop says, as the power invested in me, I stand under you the right hand of fellowship that you be faithful and dutiful, uh, that when the Lord come, you may be fellowshiped into the church. Now, this is what else y'all bishop do. How old are you, son? Eight? Come on, come in. Come Your bishop takes eight-year-old little youngins who don't even know what the church is. And say, I give unto you the right hand of fellowship that you may be faithful and dutiful. And the little boy will look at the bishop just like he's looking at me, just grinning. You know, on his face, he's like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, and then bishop also do the women. I receive unto you the right hand of fellowship. Come on, come on, son. I give you the right hand of fellowship. Give it, give it. Give it. Now, after bishop shake all their hands, Bishop said, give me about seven brothers. Come on, give me seven brothers real quick now. Come on, move fast. Come out that way. Come out the pulpit. Come out the pulpit. All of you. Come out the pulpit. Just seven. And walk by and shake everybody's hand. Go ahead. Walk by and shake their hand. Come on. Shake their hand. This is what y'all bishop do. All right, come back this way. Come to the opening of the pulpit and go back to you. Here. Come, that's right. Come on around the mountain when he comes. That's what y'all bishop do. That's one way. Another way that y'all bishop do it, they let the women. Uh, uh, Mother Jennings, uh, Sister Johnson, and uh, one of you other mothers. Can y'all come on up here? Take your time now. Come on. One of y'all, Mills, you feel like walking? Come on, Sister Mills. Come on now, y'all. Take your time. Come on. Come on. Shake shake these folks' hands. Start with that sister. Come on, shake a hand now. Come on, shake the hand. This is what, this is what y'all apostolics do. I'm going to demonstrate this and roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. That's what y'all do. All right, y'all go on back now. Go on. You all right? All right, come on. Y'all go on. Come on. Now, viewers, y'all can go ahead and get seated. I'm going to demonstrate this. How many here 
came from so-called apostolic church who experienced exactly what I just demonstrated. Raise your hand. Do y'all see this, viewers? Now, let's compare what the apostolics do with the rise of fellowship with the Bible. Bible. Let's see the second chapter of Galatia and see who gave the right hand of fellowship That's right. and who received it. That's right. All right. Back in Galatians chapter 2 and at verse 9. Parliament. And when James, Cephas, and John. And James, Peter, which is Cephas, and John, they were apostles. That's right. God sent, God anointed, God appointed apostles. That's right. Who was in their private meeting along with Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, the elder. That's right. All right. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, uh -huh. received the grace that was given unto me. What did they do? They gave to me and Barnabas. No. To Paul, Barnabas, and Titus. They gave to me and Barnabas. No. To Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, and the women that got saved under Paul's ministry. They gave to me and Barnabas. No. Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, and the deacons. Amen. <laughs> they gave to me and Barnabas. No. Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, and the evangelists. They gave to me and Barnabas. What? The right hands of fellowship. What they done right. is not the way you doing it. That's right. It was given from apostles to apostles. Yeah. From apostles to apostles. That's right. From apostles yeah. to apostles. That's right. Nowhere in the history of the scriptures yeah. where women, children, Receive the right hands of fellowship. Not even deacons got it. That's right. Now you say it's for everybody. All right. Then that should have been part of the teaching when the apostles would go preach. That's right. Who would take God when Peter came to Cornelius' house while he had spake the word. Holy Ghost fell. And then he said, can anybody forbid water? water. That they should not be baptized. We have the Holy Ghost. Uh, like, 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 like we and he commanded he them to be baptized, to be baptized. In the name of the Lord. They received the Holy Ghost first That's right. and the baptism afterward. But Peter didn't come back and say, Anybody want to be fellowship yeah. to the church? No. No one! No. Philip, no over oh, thank God the evangelist, went on down to Samaria yeah. and uh, overturned even Simon the sorcerer. Yeah. And the word of God was preached. And they were baptized. That's right. But then they waited and the apostles came in who, down. Who when they would come down pray for them? Give chapter verse. In Acts chapter 8, we're at verse 15. Who when they came down? Pray for them that they pray might receive for the Holy them Ghost. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen on none yet of the them. Holy Ghost didn't fall on them yet. Only they were Only baptized, they were baptized in, the name of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then laid they their hands then on them. Then laid their hands on them. And they received the and Holy Ghost. They received the Holy Ghost and the rags of fellowship. Then laid they their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Just wait a minute. Aren't you missing a few words there? No words missing, Pastor. They received the Holy Ghost and the right hand of fellowship. Then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. On the day of Pentecost. Yes. That's right. When the Holy Ghost fell. That's right. And Peter stood up with the eleven. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And reached back and got and preached David. David. And said how David declared, Thou shalt not leave my soul in hell, hell, neither suffer the Holy One to see corruption. corruption. Peter preached this with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. And while Peter was preaching, then when they heard they, this, when they heard this, they were in their heart. I got pricked. And said unto Peter and to the rest of Peter the apostles, and the rest of the apostles, and and brother, what shall we do? What shall we do about this man message? Then Peter said unto them, repent. I got information for you. That's right. Yeah. Repent. I'll be baptized every one every of you. Every one of you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus of Christ. Jesus Christ. For, for what? For the remission of sin. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the rain of the fellowship. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the rain of the fellowship. And ye shall receive.
receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is what you fellow have added to the new birth. That's right. That's right. You have you preach baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, and you add the right hands of fellowship to the new birth That's and to be put in the church. That's right. Baptism, Holy Ghost, right hands of fellowship. The Bible don't put it that way. St. John chapter 3, right and it's not five. preached that way. That's right. Jesus made it plain. Jesus answered, verily, verily, Jesus answered. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Verily, I say unto thee. Go and take off. Hallelujah. I say unto thee, Lord, oh, take God, I say to Except a man be born of water, a man is born of water, of water, and of the spirit, and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You can't get in. That's right. Hallelujah. What are you? Not born of water, yeah. and spirit, right. and the hands of fellowship. No. No. It's an error. That's right. It's an error. Amen. It's wrong. That's right. Come on. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Amen. It's error. That's right. It's wrong. It's wrong. The right hand's fellowship is right when it's done like scripture. And when James, Cephas, and John are supposed to be pillars. That's right. Apostles. From apostles. That's right. Give it to our partners. That's right. When James, Stephen, and John were sitting in the pillar, perceived the grace that is given unto me. They gave to me and Barnabas. They gave to me and Barnabas. The right hands of fellowship. That's the apostles' doctrine. Yeah. That's right. And we're going to leave it just like that. Amen. No woman should be getting the right hands of fellowship nor giving it. No. No brother who's not an apostle should be given the right hands of fellowship or on the receiving end of it. That's right. No child should be receiving the right hands of fellowship. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Come on back. That's right. It's error. That's right. You can be God called yeah. and God sent up a truth. Okay. Have an anointing from God. Tell right. so us, well, why didn't God reveal it to the former bishop? Listen, the Bible says this the path of the just is as the shining light. How does that light work? That shineth more and How? more. They shine more and more and more unto the perfect day. Until Jesus comes. That's right. Pass that means this, a God sent man cannot do or preach any more than what God makes known to him. That's right. That's right. I'm God sent. That's right. And know it. But I still was in error. Yeah. Until God. Open up my understanding. That's right. That's and I stopped that going around shaking everybody's hand like I'm Captain America. <laughs> Amen. Right. More than ever, I'm determined it's one, it's one, it's one. to do it like it's written. But the path of the just is as the shining light. The path of the just, hallelujah, hallelujah. is as a shining light. That, that shines, shines more, more, and more. It gets brighter unto the perfect day. I mean, God adds to your knowledge, and it's get brighter. Precept upon precept. That's right. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little. There a little. There a little. A little. Amen. That's right. 